In this lecture, I am going to explain about comatic aberration or coma. This is a topic in the first unit aberrations of second BSc semester 3 physics paper 3 syllabus. Now coming to comatic aberration. What is comatic aberration? So when a point object is situated slightly off the principal axis of the lens, that is, which is not on the axis of the lens, then the image of the point object formed by the lens is not like a point, it is like egg or comet like shape. This defect is called as chromatic aberration or coma. This chromatic aberration is a monochromatic aberration, which means when a light of single wavelength is allowed to pass through the lens, then you will get this type of defect. Now coming to the explanation, consider a point A in the object OA which is not on the axis. The point A is not on the axis. The point A is slightly above the axis that is off the axis. Now we know that this convex lens can be divided into number of zones 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, etc. having different radii. Now, the rays coming from the point A are allowed to pass through these different zones. Different zones are forming different images as shown in this figure. The rays coming from the point A when it, they are passes through the zone 1, 1, the image formed is I1. When the rays passes through the zone 2, 2, they converges at the point I2 and forms the image I2. Image I2. Now, the image formed by the zone 3, 3 is I3. That means for a single object, there are more than one image here, three images, which is said to be a defect. Now, if you combine all these three images, then you will get an image which is egg-like shape or comet-like shape but not a single point image. Hence, this is said to be a defect. Now, what are the reasons for chromatic aberration? So, these two can be said to be the major reasons. Different zones of the lens produce different lateral magnifications. Lateral magnifications means First of all, what is magnification? Magnification is size of the image by size of the object, distance of the image by distance of the object, or height of the image by height of the object. In this case, we are considering lateral images, lateral magnification, which means perpendicular to the axis, that is, height of the image by height of the object is said to be lateral magnification. Here, here the Aberration is mainly due to the different zones of the lens are forming different images here. Hence, the, we can say that different zones are having different lateral magnifications. Hence, we are getting different sizes in the images also. So, this is the major reason. Different zones of the lens produces different lateral magnification. Due to this reason, the rays coming from the point A passes through different zones of the lens are focused at different points. Hence, we are getting the defect. Now, each zone forms an image of a point in the form of a circle, which is said to be chromatic circle. Now, consider one zone. Let it be one, one zone. So, when the lens you can see in the lateral direction, that means cross section, you can see this zone as a circle. Now consider these diagonal points A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, etc. Now, when the rays from the point A passes through this zone, which means this zone, then this diagonally opposite points, they produce an image here A dash, corresponding to B, B, it is B dash, Corresponding to CC, C dash. Corresponding to DD, D dash. 
all these point images put together, that means the locus of these all point images gives us a chromatic circle. That is, the image formed by one zone of the lens is like a circle called chromatic circle. If the rays are made to pass through this 1-1 one, one zone, the image formed is I1 and that I1 is like this. For, from 2 to the image is I2, the I2 is like this. 3-3, three, three, the image is I3, that is I3 is like that. Which means, as the radius of chromatic circle, that means, from this diagram we can see that, as the radius of the zone decreases, the radius of chromatic circle increases. Here you can clearly see the radius of zone 1 1 is greater when compared to the zone 2 2 and zone 3 3. So the image of the point object A through the zone 1 1 is like a point here and for 2 2 it is like a, a circle whose radius is greater when compared to I 1 and I 3 circle radius is greater when compared to I 2 which means as the radius of the zone decreases, the radius of chromatic circle increases. Uh, the resultant image due to these different zones is like comet shape or egg shape. Now, this chromatic aberration is a uh, defect in forming the image of the lens. Hence, that defect can be rectified. There are minimization methods. First minimization method is the scoma can be minimized by designing lenses of suitable shapes and materials. A German optical optician showed that coma can be eliminated if the lens satisfies the AF's sine condition mu1 by 1 sin theta1 equal to mu2 by 2 sin theta2. Here Mu1 and Mu2 are the refractive indices of the object shape, space and image space. Y1 and Y2 are the heights of object and image. Theta1 and Theta2 are the angles made by the conjugate rays with the axis of the lens. So, in this, there, from this equation we can return the lateral magnification, which means height of the image by height of the object, y2 by y1 as mu1 sin theta1 by mu2 sin theta2. When the medium on both sides of the lens is same, then the lateral magnification is y1 by y2 equal to sin theta1 by sin theta2 because for the same medium, the refractive index is also same, that is mu1 equal to mu2. If the lateral magnification for all the rays are also same, then y1 is equal to y2, which means sin theta1 by sin theta2 is constant. So the lens satisfying the condition sin theta1 by sin theta2 is equal to constant is called as a planetic lens. So here for a particular lens, we can maintain the refractive indices to be constant by maintaining the lens to be in the same medium and forms the image in that medium only and uh, by maintaining the distances also we can uh, maintain this y1 equal to y2 constant hence this is the only condition for the chromatic aberration so minimization of chromatic aberration sin theta 1 by sin theta 2 is constant and the lens which is satisfying this condition is said to be a planetic lens. Now the second minimization method. This is a simple method. Different zones are forming different images. That is the only uh, defect in this lens. That means in case, case of chromatic aberration. If you cut any of the rays, then also the image can be minimized. 
So, coma may be reduced by a certain extent by use of proper stop placed at suitable distance from the lens. This stops the outer zones and allows only the central zones. So, the defect produced due to outer zones can be minimized here. Hence, the image is somewhat free from aberration. But however, this method we are not following because in this case, some rays are cutting here. The in, due to this, the intensity of the image. So like this, the chromatic aberration can be minimized.